flu epidemic. Schools in several states will be closed tomorrow. 39 states now reporting high flu activity. The CDC reporting at least 37 children dying of flu just this season. Here's ABC's Ariel Reshef. Tonight, schools in at least six states closing in a desperate rush to stop the dangerous spread of the flu. The epidemic so severe in Oklahoma, 20 districts have shut their doors in the last week as they try to disinfect. We felt like at the end it was what was best for our kids and our school. In Jacksonville, Florida, the virus forcing bus drivers like Kelly Mead to stay home. Sending your kid with a fever, uh, especially a high fever. You're sending them on a bus with a bunch of kids, including a driver, and you're putting everybody else at risk. 39 states still reporting high flu activity, and experts say the season may not have reached its peak. The outbreak, the worst in nearly a decade, continuing to claim lives. 12-year-old Dylan Winnick laid to rest this weekend, one of at least 37 children whose life was cut short by the deadly H3N2 strain. And tonight, it's not just schools concerned. In Minnesota, where fans are already packing the streets ahead of the Super Bowl, staff and volunteers armed with disinfectant, sanitizing surfaces multiple times a day to try to keep crowds healthy. Tom, experts say the flu season can last all the way up until April. Doctors we talked to say they can't stress enough the flu shot is still the best way to protect yourself, and it's not too late. Tom? Ariel Reshef with how the epidemic is spreading tonight. I want to bring in ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Jen Ashton. And Jen, you're living through this right now. Your daughter has the flu. Today you had to take her to the hospital. What were the signs you saw that you knew it was time to go to the ER? The two big things I think people should look for, inability to tolerate liquids by mouth, that was my daughter's case for almost a day, and difficulty breathing, so that's breathing at a rapid rate, not being able to take a full breath, or with an infant flaring around the nostrils. I also think parents should ask their child, do you feel the same, worse, or better? And over a three to seven day course of the flu, you should start to hear them say they're feeling better each day, not worse.